This is Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz in San Diego County today, joined by Tasha Berner Horvat. She is a councilwoman in the North County city of Encinitas, which is just a phenomenal place filled with excitement, innovation. And when you were running, uh, you talked a lot about economic development. That was kind of your platform. Why? Well, I. Uh uh, when I first started running, I did a listening tour, uh, and one of the things that I did for six months was just listen to folks from all through Encinitas mm -hmm. and all five communities, what were their concerns. And one of the big things was, how do we help local businesses thrive? How do we encourage businesses that are compatible with the residential areas, especially on, along the coast? Sure. And um, how do we capture this really um, strongly growing uh, movement for entrepreneurial activity that's in Encinitas. And it's palpable. I, I mean, that whole North County zone, be it San Marcos, Carlsbad, Oceanside, whatever it is, Encinitas, of course, you can feel it. Yeah. You drive around, you can feel it. Yeah. So, and Encinitas has that unique uh -huh. combination of lifestyle, passion, right. ambition, and creativity that really drives um, new businesses and startups in a way that other cities may not have Why? that option. Because in, when, when we think about innovation, we think about what, what drives it, right? You okay. need a balance. You need, you need to be able to be ambitious enough that right. you want to go after the dream. You need to be creative enough to think of something new. Um, you need a passion enough to do it right. day after day after day out of your garage. And, um, you know, you, you need to have that lifestyle oh, that makes it really it? unique. I, I know m many of your council members. and. You all kind of define what you've just described. Your mayor, you know, other council members. What is it about you people <laughs> that, that, that you know gives us this innovative, passionate, compassionate, uh, genre, you know, kind of vibe? Well, you know, is I it think, the coast? I guess, <laughs> it's a combination of the coast. Yeah. I think you know, Encinitas. You know, it's down to earth enough, and right. it has that surfer butt vibe that right, keeps it right. kind of down to earth. But you know, we have a lot of people from all over the country. Right. That uh, you know, and and so people are really nice. If you go to Encinitas and you go to any event, what you'll walk away with is like, well, these people are down to earth and they're really nice. Oh, so, great. and so that's great. So, but you look at that and that's a foundation. Right. That's a foundation of that's an opportunity we have. If we want to look forward and look at what would economic development policy look like in Encinitas. That's a potential right. we need to you know, so capture. So you decided not only to walk the walk, but talk the talk. You got on the council, you won, and so you said to your fellow council members, to the new mayor, Catherine Blakespear. I want to start a, a committee on economic development, but let's study it first. Yeah. And what did they say when you said, let's study it first? Well, I was really surprised. So yeah. I thought, you know, I, everybody knew I had talked about that. Right. And I, I knew economic development was important to every council member sure. because it's important to every elected Obvious. official yeah. everywhere, Obvious. right? And so I thought, I'll start with a white paper and we'll kind of, you know, yeah. look, look at the opportunities. What are the, re you know, the, yeah. you have a trend from brick and mortar yeah. to online retail. Yeah. How is that affecting we'll talk, us? Yeah. Um, and so, I, I went to them and I said, well, let's start with a white paper. And they said, no, Tasha, we don't need a white paper. You're, you're fine. We know you're really passionate about this. Why don't you just go ahead and roll that white paper into updating our economic development framework that was developed in 2013 and 14. Oh, wow. um, and so Joe Mosca joined me on the subcommittee and we're going to be doing just that. So let's talk about some of the trends you've already yeah. seen. And you mentioned one, which is the fact that so much of our buying is now done online. I mean, look, I admit it, my wife and I, you know, we buy a lot on Amazon. I mean, I hate to say it, but you know, God bless our, our local stores and we try to frequent them as well, but yeah. it's becoming so easy. I mean, same day delivery, it's tough not to, you know, love that. It but, is. But what's the impact of that on a city like Encinitas? So, so what I think we're seeing is we're seeing a trend. The, the trend from brick and mortar to online for retail means not all retail storefronts are really that profitable, right? Right. So in a city like Encinitas where we see increasing rents because the market's pretty hot right now, right. they're no longer able to really afford those mm. rents um, because competition is driving it out. So what's happening to our downtown? We have an increase in coffee shops because coffee has a, you right. know, coffee high and markup. espresso has a mm. high profit margin. And we're seeing a lot of pressure for alcohol mm. downtown. And you know, everybody wants to have fun and everybody wants to go out and have a good time. But you know, downtown is adjacent to an older residential neighborhood right. where, and, and, and you know, maybe too much alcohol isn't good for our downtown. I have a question, I'm not sure if you know the answer. When I, or when Tasha buys something on Amazon.com, does the city of Encinitas get sales tax for it? No. No, it goes to the state mm. because it, it, it doesn't yeah. align up that way. So yeah. that's a problem. 
It so cities problem. are going to start losing sales tax revenue. So as so that's one of the one of the impacts right. could be. We need to study this. Uh, so I understand. And I'm sure there's economists out there who right. who You'll will find give you me and an Joe email. You'll find the study. <laughs> right. will, will give me yeah. send me an email very soon about this. But um, so that will de- that will could lead to right. decri- decrease revenues um, if, if those companies are not in Encinitas. Right. 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 So so that could decrease revenues. You know, autonomous vehicles are coming. San Diego is a test um, has a test facility. Um, in so explain Southern San Diego why County. that would impact uh, city municipal revenues. For a city like Encinitas, where we get actually a, a, a significant portion of our sales tax from car sales, uh, you have car dealerships. We have car dealerships, and and not so many, but enough that it, it's one, mm-hmm. one of those things that you look at when you of look course. at sales tax revenue. Um, but autonomous vehicles will drive down car ownership. So people right. will own less cars, they will buy less cars. Right. That will drive down city revenues. And less gas, and I presume you get gas sales tax. I mean, we all, exactly. all cities do. And so as we move to more electric vehicles, right. you have a decrease in gas sales tax. So the, you, you know, if, as a city, you can look and see that there, there are these really kind of overarching trends right. that we need to look at. And we need to look at what would be compatible. Because often we say, well, we don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want right. this. But what we need to be really looking forward to, and that's what I'm really, you know, encouraged mm-hmm. that hopefully we'll do with um, the subcommittee with um, Councilmember Mosca, mm. is look at what is it that we want to be, mm. what is compatible with our neighborhoods, what are these emerging trends, for example, the entrepreneurial activity. How do we capture that and position ourselves in the market to really benefit not only Encinitas but all of North County as those companies grow? What I love about San Diego County is this entrepreneurial spirit that really permeates the entire region. Often is driven by your outstanding educational institutions, and you know in North County you have Cal State San Marcos, you have Palomar, you have Miracosta. You're not far from San Diego State and UCSD. And so how can you leverage th- that kind of educational triumph that we see from these institutions to the benefit of incidents in North County? So there are two things we could do. Is one, th- those research institutions are key in helping us create good policies. We can get, bring people right. in as consultants who want to do their MBA you know, sure. you know, um, thesis paper on economic development in Encinitas, for example. Um, the other thing, though, what you see those, that educational sector doing is it not only drives jobs, but it drives talent. Mm. So, you know, cities, when you look at, I think, you know, an economic development policy, you look at the kind of buildings you have. We have particularly small parcels in Encinitas. And then you look at the kind of talent you have. And we have very high education rates in Encinitas, mm. which is what could drive um, a more entrepreneurial startup um, sector versus something else because you would have a lot of people that have been very successful professionally with a high education and that's uh, driving it as well. How can you leverage the coast toward economic development? I mean, obviously you want to ar- arguably avoid overdevelopment. There's the California Coastal Commission, but still, I mean, you are on the coast. So I- I- are, are there thoughts behind that? Well, and I would go back to Please. to the talent aspect. Mm-hmm. Because what the coast could offer besides the development mm-hmm. aspect is it offers an attraction point for talent. Ah. Well, the, the idea that you would go to a co-working space, you would have a bunch of meetings, you have that creative interaction with other folks, you would go surfing for an hour, <laughs> come to back me? to your facility that has a shower, and then you'd bike home is a quality of life issue. Um, and a quality of life aspect that we can offer on the coast. And so I think that would drive talent. You could also say it drives creativity. And so we have Pacific View um, is an old elementary school that the city purchased and is now being um, converted into an art center. We have the library. <laughs> and, you know, so we know what I can envision is, you know, an arts district through this area that really also generates that creativity and talent. She in, in is Tasha Berner-Horvat of Encinitas on Bride Pomerantz's local edition. Thank you.